expression on my face was an expression of absolutely astonishment because I really wasn't expecting it, and I'm really looking forward to finding out now if Taron Trinnell will even be considered as a top contender for the TNA Knockouts Division. This is a positive direction for the TNA Knockouts Division to take, and you really can't argue uh, or dispute the decision that TNA Wrestling has made by uh, signing a fantastic talent like Taron Trinnell, who was just recently in that new Will Ferrell movie. Uh, receiving a tremendous amount of publicity, and this is going to get TNA Wrestling over in the entertainment world, uh, an entertainment aspect of things, really effectively, because this is a girl, of course, who was just recently in this Will Ferrell movie. Uh, she didn't have a big role uh, in the theatrical release, and she's not really going to have much detail given to her on the DVD and Blu-ray when it's released and becomes available, but I think that this really is going to give TNA Wrestling a lot of publicity and put TNA Wrestling over the top and put them on a pedestal that they're trying to eventually get to that WWE is at right now with the amount of uh, celebrity appearances WWE are allowing on their programming to make it an entertainment value product more than they ever have in the last several years but I think this is really going to allow TNA Wrestling to be elevated to that similar pedestal they're not going to get there uh, right away but they will uh, in time, and I think that that's really what uh, TNA Wrestling is going to play off of over the next several weeks. That's what's going to be involved in the promos that are going to be cut about this feud between uh, Madison Rain and uh, Taryn Trinnell, and I'm really going to be looking forward to finding out how they bring Taryn Trinnell in, bringing her in as a special referee for the uh, Knockouts Championship match, which came on uh, with over half of TNA Impact this past Thursday over and done with, was a real effective way. Um, because you wouldn't expect TNA Wrestling to do this so late in the show with everything going on with the Ace of Spades uh, and uh, Hulk Hogan returning now to align himself with Kurt Angle and Sting as a part of a faction trying to rid TNA Wrestling of the frustration that the Ace of Spades have been uh, causing for TNA over the last several weeks and at their pay-per-view offerings. Uh, but the way they did it was so effective. I mean, Madison Rain comes out, cut this promo about being, you know, the TNA Knockouts champion once again. Here comes Brooke Hogan in charge of TNA's impact and makes this decision to have Madison Rain defend the championship again uh, a couple of days after acquiring it at TNA Hardcore Justice against um, against Miss Tessmarker, the former TNA Knockouts champion, and Taryn Trinnell, uh playing the wild card. She was a great referee, too. I wasn't expecting her to be very skilled as a referee, um, because judging by how she performed as a WWE diva in the way of an in-ring competitor, I uh, wasn't expecting her to be in a very effective referee, but um, the way she, you know, played it out with Earl Hebner and Madison Rain's relationship uh, was fantastic. I think that Ashley Lane is one of the best talents that TNA Wrestling has right now, because uh, if she wasn't a good talent, she would never have been considered to be TNA Knockouts Champion. And if you want to have somebody to work with Taryn Trinnell and really bring the best out of Taryn Trinnell as an in-ring competitor, you couldn't have made a better selection than Madison Rain, given everything she's done as part of the Beautiful People and a part of TNA's Knockouts Division as a singles competitor. Being considered as the TNA Knockouts um, Champion uh, tells a lot about what uh, t um, Madison Rain's uh, career in TNA Wrestling really details and how far she has come. I mean, Ashley Lane was a tremendous acquisition for TNA Wrestling, and I'm really looking forward to finding out how she's going to benefit uh, Taryn Trinnell and how Taryn Trinnell will play off of everything that Madison Rain gives to her in the way of experience, uh, pointers, and, and really helps her career, and really how Taryn Trinnell will play off that and benefit other TNA knockouts who will become a part of the company within the next five years. I'm hoping to see Taryn Trinnell involved uh, with TNA Wrestling for a considerable amount of time. I'm not expecting her to be involved with the company as long as Christy Hemme has been. It seems like Christy Hemme has been there forever. And the only reason they're giving her the uh, role of being the uh, Impact Ring announcer is because there's nothing really else left for Christy Hemme to do other than become the TNA Knockouts Champion, which is really the only other avenue you can take Christy Hemme's career down, which is something I think we are eventually going to see. Um, but I think that uh, we're going to see Taryn Trinnell there for a quite a um, uh, significant amount of time. It's not going to be as long of a run uh, as Christy Hemme's had, but I think really expecting her to last a couple of years, and she's going to be involved in the ring in the way of an active competitor more than she ever was in the WWE. The biggest thing that she did in the WWE was being a part of the Blontourage, and they formed a little team where they got the majority of their exposure on Superstars, which was a web show, because the matches like that being the main event, uh, Divas Tag Team matches really being the main event of Superstars, wasn't the correct direction take the Superstars product in, and I think that really that's what's going to lead to Superstars being eventually cancelled as part of WWE.com's uh, web show lineup, because really with WWE offering so much web programming now on WWE.com more than they ever have 
I can't see shows like Superstars with Diva matches being the main event uh, lasting all that long because they're never the main event of Raw and SmackDown. Why, why all of a sudden are they the main event of NXT, uh, Superstars, and a lot of web shows on WWE.com? I think that it's it's great for the Divas division because they're getting exposure, but how good is it for WWE as a product to have Divas matches as your main event of your web shows, honestly? And I think that really that's all that the Blonde Tourage really contributed to the Divas division. They contributed a lot of beauty and grace and talent and, um, you know, promos and everything, uh, but they really didn't contribute enough. And I think that Tiffany could have been used more effectively as a singles competitor, so that's a huge plus. Uh, for her being picked up by TNA Wrestling, and I'm really looking forward to finding out who she's going to be feuding with in TNA. Is she going to feud with anybody else other than Madison Rain? How long will the feud uh, with Madison Rain actually last? And who is this feud actually going to benefit? Will it benefit Madison Rain to cannibal her to a future knockout championship match? Will Taryn Trinnell turn heel, which is something I'm surprised she didn't do uh, when she was appointed as a special referee for that uh, knockout championship match this past Thursday? Uh, really surprised that didn't happen. You know, when she raised the hand of Miss um, Tessmacher as the new Knockouts champion, really surprised she didn't turn on her and uh, play the role of a heel, uh, which is something I'm expecting for Taryn Chanel over the next couple of weeks. She could even align herself with Madison Rain rather than having a feud with her. That's another potential direction this feud and angle could head in. Uh, but the most likely one is for her to have a feud with Madison Rain, which will not be over the TNA Knockups Championship, and it will hopefully, if anything, catapult her to a future TNA Knockups Championship match. I am not, uh, you know, saying that uh, Taryn Trinnell isn't a decent in-ring competitor, because she is. It's just that WWE didn't give her a chance to really develop, uh, really didn't give her formidable opponents, and really didn't give her the opportunity to be a singles competitor, like you did for Eve and Maurice in the past. I, I really want to see... Uh, Taryn Trinnell develop skill-wise, promo-wise, and talent-wise. I mean, a couple of things they alluded to uh, in her introduction into TNA when she started officiating the Knockout Championship match were the fact that Taryn Trinnell had experience in so many different avenues in both entertainment and wrestling. And one of the things they alluded to with all of her accomplishments and all of her accolades was the fact that she was a wrestler. The question I have for our listening audience this week is, do you believe that Taryn Trinnell can be classified as one of the top female wrestlers in the industry? She's a part of the PW500, definitely, but is she really worthy of being classified as a wrestler? Sure, she can be classified as an actress for both entertainment and professional wrestling, because there's a lot of entertainment and acting that's incorporated into wrestling. We've seen that over the years, with wrestling becoming a more entertainment value product than it ever has been over the last several years. Sure, she's a great actress with different movie roles being given away, like some of the former Diva Search contestants were given following their elimination off of that reality show uh, and competition. Uh, I think, but honestly, can she be classified as a wrestler? Putting this into perspective for you, she's never held a Divas or Knockouts Championship. She's never really competed against formidable opponents other than Michelle McCool and Layla, who are both fantastic champions, both of the past and present time, with Layla being the current Divas champion. But she really hasn't faced a collection of names that can really place her in the category of being a wrestler. She's more of an actress and an entertainer in my books. She's not really a wrestler because she has not held a championship like Layla has. She hasn't really accomplished as much as Trish Stratus and probably never will. Uh, but I was always a fan of Tiffany when she was in the WWE. I think that's what wrestling fans are going to remember her for being. I mean, a lot of wrestling fans, perhaps the majority of them, remembered her as Tiffany and referred to her as Tiffany when she made her introduction into TNA Wrestling and her wrestling debut for TNA. Um, I think that Tiffany was a great talent, it's just she was not used as effectively as she could have been. I mean, making her the assistant of Theodore Long really made her look like a wannabe Stacey Keebler or a Don Marie, who were assistants of people like Paul Heyman and Vince McMahon in the early 2000s. Uh, I think that Tiffany is very different from them in the way of beauty, grace, and talent, and I think that she's going to amount to a lot in TNA Wrestling. If people like Dixie Carter and Hulk Hogan realize that early, into her TNA run. Uh, I hope she doesn't have her career head down the same avenue as the likes of Velvet Sky and uh, Lacey Von Erich, who were fantastic talents in TNA Wrestling, a part of the beautiful people and the Knockups division, and really contributed to the Knockups division very effectively. Sure, Lacey Von Erich's wrestling ability wasn't up to par with the likes of Gail Kim and other TNA Knockups, but she contributed just as effectively as someone as uh, Angel Williams or uh, Madison, uh, Italian Madison did. I think that um, 
she was fantastic. Uh, but I hope that her career doesn't head down that same avenue because it didn't seem like uh, Lacey Von Erich was a part of TNA Wrestling long enough. And if it does head down the same avenue, uh, Karen Trinnell is not going to get as much exposure as I would like for her to get. I hope she gets a lot uh, of exposure and lands more movie deals outside of wrestling, which could lead her to retiring from wrestling altogether. And really, uh, for a while there, for the last year and a half, I thought that she was retired from wrestling altogether with her movie career really picking up. Uh, things taking off for her entertainment-wise. Really thought she was headed down the same avenue as a Stacey Keebler. After landing a deal with Dancing with the Stars, Stacey Keebler appears on all these sitcoms that will eventually cancel, but uh, nonetheless, Stacey Keebler did land a couple of deals with entertainment, with her relationship with George Clooney being heavily profiled by uh, entertainment news programs such as Entertainment Tonight. Seems like they can never get enough of George Clooney and Stacey Keebler's relationship and all the dirt uh, that goes along with it. Uh, I really thought she was headed down that same avenue as Stacey Keebler after looking like a Stacey Keebler wannabe for several years as Theodore Long's assistant and uh, eventually making her debut as an in-ring competitor. She wasn't as effectively brought in as an in-ring competitor like Kelly Kelly. That's why I believe she carried uh, the Blondrage more than Taryn Trinnell did. Uh, and I'm really hoping that Tina Wrestling picks up the ball where WWE consistently dropped it and had been dropping it with other divas other than uh, Taryn Trinnell. You can't say they haven't dropped the ball with Melina. You can't say they didn't drop the ball with Maurice. You can't say they didn't drop the ball with Jackie Gata back in 2004. She could have definitely been a women's champion when that title was in effect as part of the active title roster in WWE. So it's not like uh, Taryn Trinnell isn't just the only victim of uh, John Laranitis. You know, she was very torn up over the John Laranitis release phone call she received. Uh, and she commented on that on several interviews. I believe I actually played a clip several months